All right, guys, have you ever come across those cute little book covers or the, those PDF covers and you're like, oh my goodness, I wish I knew how to make that? Well, you're finally going to learn today because creating these book jacket covers is a great way to showcase your product and it's a great way that really entices the reader to find out a little bit more about it. Yes, I could have just had a picture, just the image, but having it on the book jacket cover really makes it look more professional and it invites people to really want to uh, download that particular lead magnet. And also the same thing when people use those tablets and they've got their um, check mark, uh, checklist or PDF inside of the tablet. Again, it's just another way to encourage the reader to see themselves being the one reading your particular content, piece of content, okay? So in order to go about creating something like this, guys, one of the first things we need to do is find a mock-up. And you could easily Google uh, mock-up and a whole bunch of different websites will appear. I already know of one that's called Cover Vault. It's a really good site. He's got a ton of different mock-ups and this particular one is free. Again, guys, it's up to you to make sure to read the licensing agreements. Just like anything you don't create, I am all over making sure that I have the licensing ability to use it, okay? So I already went ahead and downloaded this particular, this particular cover vault, um, sorry, this particular mock-up, and take a look at the dimensions because whatever image you are using, you're going to need to have that exact dimension of that image available because you're going to place it on top of the mock-up. And I tend to create my mock-ups in Photoshop. You can use Pixlr. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use Pixlr, which I'm, I'm positive is free. Um, at the time of this recording, it's still free. And so you can use Pixlr. The steps are going to be a little bit different, but again, you'll get the gist of it. So let's go ahead and create our mock-up. So I've got Photoshop already. I've already downloaded the mock-up, so I'm just gonna bring it in to the canvas. So here's the mock-up cover. Just gonna grab that. Okay, so this is the mock-up cover. And let's go ahead and already make this transparent. So I'm just gonna remove this little eye. So I have a transparent background, okay? So, the next thing I do is go to File, Place Embedded, and then I'm going to grab the image that I want to have placed on top of this PDF, okay? Wow, that's really big, right? Um, so we're going to actually move this up. I'm gonna go ahead and click Enter so we can stop, and then I'm going to move this up because I want to have it placed on top of the book. And so, now what I need to do is go over to edit, transform, skew, and now this is going to give me the ability to bend and flex this image any way that I want, okay? And obviously our goal is to make sure that it is sitting on top of this PDF. So I'm gonna move this over. And I'm gonna be honest, guys, it takes some time getting used to this. I am I am not a graphic designer by any means, by trade. Um, I just picked up some tips, you know, I, I learned enough so I can function. <laughs> um, so let's see, bring this over. Okay, it's starting to shape up nicely. This up, bring this down. Okay, bring this up just a little bit. Okay, so you guys get the point. I mean, you can be here all day. Well, you want to make sure it looks good enough for you. Okay, so this is good enough for me. I can roll with this and be fine. So I'm gonna click enter, okay? And there you go, this is your little PDF book. 
your 3D mock-up. So then the next step is to go to file. I, I, I always make sure I save this, you know, I save my work in this event. I'm not gonna bother because again, I already have what I need. This is just an example. But then we want to go down to export, okay? Export as. And then we want to make sure that we always have transparency checked, okay? Because in the event that you're uploading this onto a site that's got color, if you've got white as this background, it's going to look ridiculous. And so you wanna avoid that whole scenario by making sure that it is checked to have transparency. And then you have the ability to manipulate you know, if you really wanted a five by eight, that's fantastic. You could leave it at that size. If you wanna make it smaller, you can do it. You can make that happen here too, okay? And then you go ahead and export all, okay? And then you've got your image. So let's go. And so there you have it. You've got your image. And so you can place it on your website as you see fit. I'll see you in the next lesson.